Hi, I'm Denvi Zhang and welcome back to the Pet Hui. Today we join you from Feather and Fur and we're here with Dr. Walsh and Coco. Hi. Hi. So as you know, it's important to bring your dogs to the vet once a year so we can look them over. We like to check their ears, check their teeth, check their lymph nodes, things that people don't usually do on a routine basis, mm -hmm. as well as listen to their heart, make sure they look nice and healthy. And Coco here, she looks great. She's nice and healthy. Yay. And speaking of health, did you know that they say one of the best ways to stay healthy for you and your dog is by dancing? Well, let's head out to Waimanalo and find out more about that. Canine Freestyle started in the late 1990s and it's basically showing a relationship that the owner has with their dog through dance. A lot of fun, movement, and who doesn't like playing with your dog set to your favorite music? If you're interested in dancing with your dogs, the first step that you would need to do is build a foundation with your dog, meaning foundation behaviors such as training sit, down, stay, come. Also learning how to gain your dog's attention. A lot of dogs respond very, very well at home in the living room where there's not a lot of distraction, but then when they get outside and the birds are flying by, other dogs are around, a smell goes by, we need to learn how to gain our dog's attention in those situations. I first saw Canine Freestyle on YouTube actually and was fascinated with it and did a little investigating. I even went so far as to buy some training uh, CDs to try to get some of the moves down. Um, thought I had a teacher uh, about a year ago and that didn't work out so I was really thrilled that Tammy decided this is something she wanted to pursue and we've got a, a class of people that are participating. It's, it's a great deal of fun. Once you have your basic obedience uh, with your dog, then you move on to more advanced behaviors such as teaching your dog how to spin, how to walk off leash, how to bow. And this can be done through motivation with food, toys, love, and just you having fun. You don't have to be a ballerina or a hula dancer or anything. It's mostly heel work with the dog. It's the interaction with the dog that's the big thing. And you throw a few little moves and a few little tricks in, but you're basically just doing heel work to music. It's, it's fun. With reinforcing your dog through the love and other ways of reinforcement, your eye contact and your relationship will really show through when dancing with your dog. Um, you making eye contact with your dog and do your dog looking lovingly up at you really, really shows that they trust you, that they're comfortable with you, that they're excited to be with you. And dancing with your dog because it's set to music, you're having fun, laughing and reinforcing your dog really shows that relationship you have with your dog naturally. While choosing music for your dog, it's very simple. You pick music that fits your dog. So when we choose music for our dog, we look for how your dog's ears are, or how their tail is, or how their fur moves as they walk. Um, some music might be a little lighthearted and fast rhythm if you have a little dog. Um, bigger dogs might have um, music that notes are drawn out a little bit because they're taking bigger steps. But you look at your dog's basically rhythm to the music. We put the dog's rhythm to the music. So the level that you're going to see today, we've completed the dog's healing on our right and left hand side. Now we're putting some tricks to our routine, such as a spin, a twist, the dog circling around us or weaving through our legs. And this has all been done in five weeks. So only after eight weeks, our students are going to be able to put together a routine of dancing with their dog to set to music for one minute and 30 seconds. On December 4th at 3.30, we're going to have a recital and a workshop of dancing with your dogs. So you're going to see what these students have learned only after eight weeks of training. To find out more information about our recital and workshop, you can visit our website at www.808dogbone.com or you can call us at 551-7994.